Yo, 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 welcome back guys to another video here at Hostways Exotics. Today we're going to be feeding the pygmy rattlesnake. This is the world's smallest rattlesnake. These snakes can only grow up to about two feet long, pretty much as max. And they have a couple variations. You got the Carolina pygmy rattlesnake, which is what I have here. You have the dusky pygmy rattlesnake, and there's also the western pygmy rattlesnake. And these snakes encompass a family in the called the sisters family and these are not actually true rattlesnakes that's a pretty cool fact for you guys the only true rattlesnakes are the ones are in the crotalus family so that would include your crotalus adamantius the eastern diamondback you have also the crotalus atros the crotalus horridus the timber rattlesnake and a couple other ones that i can't really think of off the top of my head but those just the couple just to name but that's what we have here in north america another cool fact about this snake i believe they are ovoviviparous they are live bearing snakes meaning that these guys internally incubate their eggs inside of their body for a period of a couple of months and then they hatch internally as well and then they poop them all out at one time so uh, another cool fact about this one in particular this is a red phase carolina pygmy rattlesnake that means this comes from a specific county in the carolina region and that is because of the dirt and things around that has caused this morph to occur naturally so that's a pretty cool fact about this snake uh if anybody knows that anybody's selling another pig and rattle snake i am going to be looking in the market pretty soon to be getting another one as soon as i get the facility built and everything we can start expanding and building enclosures and doing a lot more things on the channel but needless to say let's go ahead and get started with this feeding video because I know you guys are ready. And I'm trying something a little different this time around. I already got the cage open. He's pretty calm. So with him being his relatively small size, it's pretty easy to get him contained and keep him in a little space. But we're going to see what happens. Boom. Let them on up. That's just one little strike right there. But leaving this here cage open, we definitely. We'll have to make sure to all right we're back guys gotta put our mouse friend back in there he decided to jump out on us just a little comedic satire for today's episode let's flick his ass back there i ain't got time to play with him luckily i'm pretty good at catching mice I don't really have them get out too often, you know. Sometimes things like that happen. I figured I had leaving the cage a little open while I'm doing this will help to keep the glare off the screen from the light that I got shining here to give you guys a little bit better imagery of what's going on. And I was just talking about it too, but it's good times. I always get the snake hook handy right here in my hand. So I can watch the snake, make sure he can stay inside his cage as well. Make sure there's nothing funny business, especially with the rat feeding them live and all, as you guys know. Looks pretty chill, snake. I manage my snakes pretty well, especially with handling them and all. So I'll probably do some videos taking them out, feeding them, and doing stuff probably starting next week. Keep you guys interested in what we got going on here on the channel. Showing you guys what I can really do with these snakes. <laughs> 